Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you today? This is my message for you today. As every day, I am declaring to myself that God loves me and He has a wonderful plan for my life. And because He loves me, I am going to live my life for Him. I would like to live my life to please Him, to love Him, to honor Him, to worship Him, to serve Him, to serve Him with all my life. And that's what I wanted to share with you as well. That if we are living our lives for Him alone, then we wanted to be a blessing. We don't want to be a burden. We don't want to be annoying. But we love to be around with people that we are the angels, that we do random up of kindness, you know. That we could, uh, we are there, and when we are there, we are the star, we are the angel. We make things lighter, we make things possible as He is. As He encourages us, as He empowers us to do things possible, as He enables us to do things because He is working through us. And with Him, we believe that uh, we can do all things through Christ who gives us the strength. Then, if we partner with the Lord, then there's no way that we'll be a failure. There's no way that our weaknesses will reign. But our strengths will reign. Love, joy, peace, kindness, gentleness, patience, faithfulness, self-control, goodness. Right? We'll be able to display, to be displayed in our day-to-day -day life. Although it's not always easy, you know, life is not always easy. It's not always smooth sailing. But then because God is with us and He's working with us, working through us and um, through us, then we'll be able to become victorious. We'll all always become a victor and not a victim, a more than conqueror, a winner, not the loser, a head and not a tail, above and not beneath. You know, we could see ourselves as victorious Christians, not, tr not always surviving, but always thriving. Despite of difficulties, despite of storms, despite of everything that we're going through, that we think it's um, there's no more way that we can go through with it. But because of God that we have in our lives, because of the Holy Spirit that gives us strength, you know, who helps us, who is our advocate to the Father, then we will become victorious always if we see that way. If we see ourselves victorious, then we will be victorious because we will keep on th believing and keep on focusing on, on God, not on the storms that's happening into our lives. So today I said that this is my day and because this is my day, I treat it as it is my last day. And if it is my last day, what would be the message that I would send to the world? What would be the message that I will let my brother or my sister know? Then this is it. Brother or sister, this is just my message for you today. I just want you to know that God loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life. And if you don't know that yet, then probably give time to find that out how God loves you so much. And we've just witnessed how he rose again. He was crucified, buried, and, and rose again. So if you see our lives in that, if you see the implications of what Jesus did for us all, then we will surely live our life for him. We will offer our life for him as he gave his life for us all as well. So... If you are going to embrace that truth, embrace that fact, or we are going to acknowledge that, then we are going to truly live our life, love ourselves, and no longer be used by the world, no longer be used by the enemy, but we're going to allow God to dwell in our hearts, to dwell in our in our hearts, and we allow His, His Holy Spirit to lead us, to guide us in order to become a representative of him doing his will obeying his will proclaiming his name proclaiming proclaiming his glory and giving glory to his name to everything that we do because he said whether we drink or eat but everything that we do we do it all for him because we have given our our full life to him we have submitted ourselves to him and um, we surrendered that's their term we surrendered our life to him 
and it is all for his own disposal so um yeah that's my message for you today that god loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life and if you haven't acknowledged that yet then we need to repent we need to repent ourselves and acknowledge that only through him that we can find victory real victory not on our own selves but through him with him and for him that we could find victory in this in this life and the life to come so he but he said as well that if we repent of our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us all our unrighteousness and cleanse us from all our sins so just be bold enough to come to him and say lord jesus i'm so sorry for all what i've done all my my sins and failures all my shortcomings and i acknowledge that you died on the cross for me you took all my sins you took all my infirmities in there you bore all my um all my um weaknesses and everything that i that i'm doing that's not worthy of you so i will follow you i will commit my life to you i will love you and i will serve you all the rest of my life and you have said that you could confess that to him then he embrace you he allow you he allow his holy spirit to dwell in your heart and you become his temple and if you become his temple all your thoughts all your words or your minds all, all your behaviors your attitudes you the way you deal the way you live your life will all be giving glory to his name and so um we will be a blessing and not a burden we will be the giver and not just a taker and waiting for someone to give us something but we will give because we have received a lot from the lord so if you want to consider that right now like you wanted to be a blessing and not a burden you wanted to be giving joy peace love kindness gentleness goodness faithfulness and self-control you you want to manifest all those goodness into your life then start on your knees start declaring that um because of jesus dead on the cross of calvary and because he rose again we as well you as well will be able to rise up from your status from your failure status from your shortcomings from your weaknesses and we'll be able to rise up again and you'll see yourself victorious triumphant you'll see yourself no longer thinking negative but you will think positive perspective of your life you will be optimistic you will triumph in everything that you do you will be likened to a tree planted by the streams of water leaves are green bears its fruit in its season and everything she does and everything he does prospers because the the because the holy spirit is with you and in you working with you yes so if you have acknowledged that and you believe that and you truly um you truly embrace that then you start declaring now that with you with god nothing is impossible and we'll be we can do all things through him who gives us the strength we start from his 